good morning. It's been pretty crazy this morning. We got all the decoys and everything set up. And uh, the guys I'm hunting with today showed up 45 minutes late to the pond. And uh, I think I'm upset. They're not really upset. Like I, could, I don't really care that much. But as we were, we just unloaded the trucks and we parked them, we were walking down. We had a group of like 15 geese cup right in to right where we're gonna set up. <sighs> That's frustrating. But here's the spread. Looks pretty good. Got the bulk decoy club, full bodies on the bank and kind of like in the water a little bit. Got some floaters out there. Looking good. Of course we got the A-frame. So, if the, if the geese do what that first group did when we weren't set up, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> so, we'll just have to see. We got a good strong wind today. I think the geese are gonna play. Oh, that kind of rhymed. Here they come. I'm not even gonna call at them right now. Uh, maybe. Coming in. Oh, I love that. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Ah. We got him. Nice. Here, where's my gun? Shoot him again. Your gun's over here. I just reached down. Grabbed another shell. There we go. They were kind of wanting to go that way. Yeah. The wind's kind of switching on us. Yeah, we could always move the, move the blind or something. But... I couldn't really see either. I can't even see where Coda is. Where's that goose going? What was that that just flew out? Like that. It went in the water. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see where it went? Coda's almost to him. No, do you see where his cap went? Hey guys, more geese right behind us. Right behind us. They're they're dumping. They're dumping. Oh my gosh, they're they're waffling. Watch the dog. Shoot him. I got a piece of that one. Well, I got one with my one shell. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at these, Josh, on that front. Wait on them, boys. Wait on them. Take them, boys. I didn't even get a shot. They went that way when they came in. I thought they were going to swing your way. Mm -mm. We got two. One on the bank and one in the water. All I know is that got western quick. Holy crap, this one's a quill! Oh my gosh, I shot a quill! Hell yeah! What was I saying about a taxidermy bill? He needs a bar. They don't normally have white toenails though. That was just pure insanity. It's just like all the geese got up and went at once, which 
that's never really that great. But I've got three geese on the board. And this one, he's a little funky. He's got all white toenails, little white on his webs of his feet. This one looks really good. Look at that. I've never seen anything like that. I don't know if it's for sure a quill. I don't know if it's part quill because there's nothing else on him that tells me it's a quill like goose except for those feet. So it had a few nice shots. That last group that came in, they pulled up early, didn't get any shots off on them. They got a couple. So I don't know if we'll see any more. I hope we do. I really, really hope we do. But um, that was just all out insanity. It's just, I hate it when they all pick up and go at one time because it kind of screws over your little, your pace of the hunt. You know, shoot some birds, go pick them up, get back in blind, ready to go. Which that was shoot some birds, dog goes, picks up one, and we're shooting more birds. <clears throat> so that kind of affected how things went. But we got some geese, success. This hunt kind of gave me a little bit of an anxiety. It was just all out craziness happening at one time. Birds coming in, birds dying, dog out, and it was just all out insanity. And that's just kind of how it goes sometimes when you're hunting geese, they can all get up off the roost and go at one time. But we got six geesers today, not too bad. And we shot, I shot this really cool one. Now, not sure if it's exactly a quill, but you don't really see that very often. Um, my guess is it's probably part quill. Not full on quill, it doesn't have any big splotches on its belly or anything like that. It's just got that weird coloring on its feet. Still, nonetheless, really cool. It was a fun hunt. Um, I, it could have been a lot better if the geese didn't all pick up at one time and go. If we had, you know, five to 10 minutes between groups, it would have been just all a smackdown. The wind also changed on us. So we had a really nice wind in our back and then it switched over to a crosswind and uh, the decoys didn't work as great as they should have by the time the birds were flying. So that's how it goes. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. It means a lot when you guys do that and also hit the subscribe button as well. What are you doing not subscribing? Subscribe and hit that notification bell and then you'll be able to get a notification whenever I post a new video. You can follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that is all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will catch you guys on the next one.